Do you know what the number one reason that your business will fail in the next five years? I hate to say this, but the biggest reason that businesses fail is normally it's you. Normally you are the problem and the reason that businesses fail. When you look at a business, right? A business is just made up of policies, procedures, and structure. That's all it is. The people running that, meaning the people that create the systems are normally the most limiting factor. So if you're the type of business owner that maybe you wanna feel like you gotta do everything and you wanna be the hero and you wanna be the person that gets all the accolades, you will be the reason the business fails. And on top of that, one of the reasons businesses fail most often is because the person who created the business, they don't feel like they need to keep growing themselves. They don't educate themselves. They don't do what it takes to grow the business. They're so busy in everyone else's business, trying to show everyone else what they should be doing, talking about all the things that everyone is not doing and not being accountable for, but yet you don't hold yourself accountable. Maybe you don't show up on time for meetings. Maybe you lose your temper and you yell at people. Maybe you say things that you shouldn't say, but yet you want the rest of the team, the rest of the company not to do that. That is a big mistake because what you're doing is you're setting a precedent and the company will not grow past the leader. You are the leader. If you look around and you don't see a leader, the leader is you and you're doing a horrible job. I was taught early on that there's no such thing as bad employees it's normally just a bad leader. If you have a bad employee, you could probably look back. Maybe you didn't interview them correctly. Maybe you didn't set the right expectations when you're talking to them. Hey, maybe you didn't even have the right job description or training to train them, but yet they don't do a good job. And then you wonder why you have employee turnover, which takes time, takes revenue, takes stress to do all that. That's because you didn't set it up. Most people think that because they're an entrepreneur, and because maybe you have a good idea that you think that everybody should want it. But the reality is, is we all know that's not the case. Being sales and marketing and understanding exactly who your target is and understanding what their challenge is and understanding how your company provides a solution and how you can get them to buy from you over and over again and getting a repeat customer, that is key to growing your business. Doing what you're doing right now it's probably not going to grow your business. If you're a $500,000 CEO, but you think you're going to grow a $10 million business, you have to become a $10 million CEO first. You have to understand that you are the reason the business is not at that level because you're not at that level. So if you want to grow and you want to grow your business and you want to make sure it doesn't fail, start working on yourself first. Start really thinking about what are the things that you should be doing to be successful and what are the things on a daily basis? How do you hold yourself accountable before you start holding team members accountable? Don't sit there and expect everyone else to do something and you don't do it. It's not a do as I say, not as I do. You have to be the leader. You've got to be the one that shows action. You show responsibility and you show accountability. And that's why people will want to come work for you. People go work for a leader. They don't go work for a paycheck. After their pay is on, I get it. Everybody needs a paycheck to survive. But at the end of the day, if you are not treating them correctly and you are not doing what it takes to be successful, you're not going to be that successful leader and your business will fail. So start working on yourself. Start thinking what you should be doing as the business leader and how you can educate yourself to be more accountable, to have more ownership, and you will eventually be more successful. I hope this helps.